Good morning, gardening friends. So the lens is still a little foggy because it's a moist morning. It's about 85% humidity here most of the time. I am about to check on my potatoes. Let me clear the screen. So, my potatoes are starting to look really sad. And let me explain, and I'll throw in some pictures if I'm really blurry or steamy here, because I see it steaming up again. Okay, so the potatoes are looking worse for wear. So I planted the potatoes a long time ago. They took a long time to come up. I planted them very early and they came up beautifully. Let me tell you how much rain we've had. I didn't check, I know you can check, but I haven't watered my garden, you guys. I haven't watered my garden in three months. <laughs> like by hand. So we've been getting two inches a week, about, is what I feel like we're getting. I tried to keep track, but it just kept coming. So um, I think the potatoes are gonna be suffering from that. So some of them flowered, there's one trying to flower right now over here, but most of them did not flower, and I'm gonna check on the ones that are dead and see how many potatoes are in there. Um, I have harvested potatoes too early before, <laughs> so I'm trying to be patient, but I need to check. You know me, I need to check. And then some of my garlic looks finished, so I might check on that. So I figured I would uh, take you guys with me. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is the first row through here, and you can see a lot of them are just really falling over and dying. And some of them are still going, but some are completely done, like that one. I'm gonna dig up that one. And then I have more potatoes over there, so let me show you those. These are the other two rolls of potatoes, and look how dead those are. I cannot wait to dig those up, because they look pretty much done. But maybe they just drown in here. So, we're about to find out. I think we should start here, though, because those look really ready. But these came up later than the others, so the others have been in the ground longer. So we might start over there. Side note, these cantaloupes have really started vining out and I can see little baby cantaloupes on there. Awesome. All right, let's see what we're working with down here. There's something, oh, they're pretty close to the surface. There's one. Oh, that one's rotten out in the middle. There's another one in here. That one's good. This one's bad. So three good, one bad. I hope there's more in here. Oh, there's a little one. Ah! Oh. Rotten. I knew it. All right, I hope this doesn't fall over. I actually brought the tripod out so I could get a good Good view of digging potatoes. Because who doesn't love a good harvest? Ooh, yep. Dang. 
ants. There's holes in this one. Both of these have holes in them. And there's ants. Which are probably fire ants. Okay. Nope. Holes in them. Man. Let's check these. They are really close to the surface. And I healed up too. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. There's some more in here. Okay, okay. Four, four and a quarter. <laughs> That's not terrible. Not great though. Let's just see if you can see these other two. I think I'm still not a potato farmer. Okay, so it died, but it's still got little babies on it. Um, whoop, there's one. Okay, okay, I can eat that. I'm really thinking about growing potatoes in grow bags, though, for real. Hey, worm! There's a little tiny piece. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright, here's another dead one. Let's see what we got in here. Something. Alright, there's one. Two. <laughs> Looks like two is my average per plant right now. There's any right here. Some of these aren't finished. I'm going to leave some of them. There's a few more I might try to dig around. It's tempting to pull them all, but um, got a pretty decent amount over there. I'll definitely pile them up, and I might dig a few more out over here. Alright, back to the first patch. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Just one, huh? There's another. Hopefully I'll have potatoes just come back in here naturally from the ones that I miss. so hard to look at sickly looking plants in your garden and not be like okay you're not flowering you look sick ah ew Alright, so I've decided to harvest them all. <laughs> uh, I couldn't just leave a few stragglers and this is such great soil. I ended up taking them all out. 
The red ones that you can see are grocery store potatoes, so that's cool. I'm going to round all these up along with the other ones and see how many we got. I also dug all these up. Alright, so this is what I got. So I tried to keep them in separate piles. This pile is from this little row. This pile is from the other bed. That pile over there is the rotten and mushy or have holes in them potatoes, which some of them will just eat really soon and they'll be fine. Just cut out the, the little holes. Some of the plants were completely done. Some of the plants were halfway done and some were still very green. But with the amount of rain we've been having, they just started, you can see this one, it's starting to mush out. And the rain has not stopped and they look so ugly so I might have been a little premature but I took them out so here it is and I would say I tripled my potatoes so I probably had I probably started with about this many seed potatoes and I had to pop this in here